let's see another equation. Let's say we want to solve the harmonic equation. This is the equation we want to solve. So what we do next is, okay, what's the boundary condition? But uh, we, and then what is the template? Now this is the template. Now we just compare, okay? We're trying to fit this template with the other equation. What do we have? Tell that we don't have all of those terms, right? And all we have now is C is equal to same thing. Um, and then uh, K, the wave number, uh, we have that uh, in the uh, absorption term. But uh, that's it. But these are now C and A and F are the only terms that we have. Uh, now, all these things in the template are just uh, um, standing for some value, but for you, depending on the physics you are trying to solve, they could mean one thing or another. So the C, for example, for chemical problems, it's concentration. For heat transfer problem, I mean, it's uh, diffusion coefficient. For uh, heat transfer problems, it's convection uh, coefficient. Um, if you were um, solving a one-dimensional uh, elasticity, uh, stress analysis problem, that would be your um, Young's modulus. Uh, they can stand for uh, different things, uh, but it's still you just uh, find it and uh, fill uh, the template. So it's really uh, something like this, right? You have things you want to fit in into a template, and you're like, oh, where do I fit in this? Put this here, put this here, but sometimes it can be different and it looks like it might not fit. So how can now we do this? Huh? Yeah, so for example, forget that we're working with equations. I just want to fit this circle and triangle, which are upside the rectangular, into those open areas. You need to cut, exactly. So you need to cut. So this is for the cutting. <laughs> so you need to cut, this will fit in, but the other ones, you need to cut them and uh, modify them. So let's see an equation where we have to do this. Uh, we want to do, let's say, Black Scholes equation uh, for finance. Now, this is the equation that we want to solve. Then we will compare it with the template. And this is the template that we have. Now, we can easily see that we don't have those terms, we don't have the mass terms, uh, we don't have a uh, source term. DA is one. Now, what is the problem with using C is equal to half sigma squared x squared? So C looks like it could be half sigma squared x squared, right? Let me think of that. For x, right? They are going to have a, a derivative with respect to x uh, out of sigma squared x squared because it's going to be inside the divergence. So when that happens, what can I do? Okay, I'm gonna do this, but then since I had this extra derivative, I will move it, right? This term sigma squared x that comes out of uh, this term here uh, next to last that comes out of differentiating it, I would just move it and try to fit it somewhere else and balance it so that at the end of the day, it's the same. Uh, I convert it to a form that I understand and it's the same format. Uh, then there are more than one ways to do this. I could have put it there uh, or I could also have moved it to the source term. But in any case, it, it is in a format that is, that uh, at first doesn't look like it's fitting try to convert it into a familiar form and uh, fit that. Is that idea clear? So there was this, uh, I don't know if you guys heard about this, but uh, there was this mathematician who lost his job and uh, he goes to the fire department to get a job. And uh, he had an interview and the first question was, assume you were uh, working in a certain neighborhood and one house is on fire, what do you do? And he says, okay, I'm going to call 911, and until I get help, I'm going to find the hydrant and do what I can do in the meantime. 
And I'm uh, like, okay, that's a very good answer. Uh, second question. You are working in a neighborhood. Everything is fine, no problem. What do you do? I said, first, I put one house on fire. <laughs> After that, it's a solved problem, right? You know how to handle it. That, that question. So a lot of times in mathematical modeling, when things look strange, the first thing is, can I rewrite this in, in, in a form that is familiar? Then I know how to handle it. So that's how this uh, templates work. So when you are working with uh, this, then you need to sometimes access the derivatives of uh, certain quantities. So here are some operators in console to give you derivatives. If the solution field was u, for example, then ux, uy, uz will give you special derivatives. Uh, and then you keep adding them, it will give you a second uh, derivative, or mixed derivative. Uh, if you are on, on surfaces, we have this uh, solution field uppercase T, special direction uh, derivative uh, variable, which will give you tangential derivative on, uh, on boundaries. Now, that only works if you are differentiating the solution field. But other times, you want to differentiate other quantities. For example, this would mean that for a heat transfer problem, these operators will work if you are differentiating temperature. But if you are trying to differentiate flux or another quantity, they don't work. But the uh, operators which work irrespective of the quantity you are using are this D quantity, comma, what you are differentiating it against to its operators. So those give you partial derivatives of any quantity with respect to uh, x, y, z, or r of uh, z in a symmetric component, and uh, time. Uh, in the reference manual, you can find more uh, differentiation operators. So you would use uh, this operator sometimes when you need access to the derivatives. Yes? Can you get normal derivatives the same way? Is like an n or something? Um, hmm, I, uh, I have to check. I, I don't think it's uh, available. Um, yeah. Because mostly they, uh, then the way you can do it is, um, um, the way I, I evaluate normal derivatives is the derivative itself is available, and the outward, the unit outward normal on boundaries is also available. So you can take a, a dope product. Yeah. But the tangential derivatives are important because a lot of times, uh, you uh, you might want to uh, if you have a surface uh, uh, some some equation only va valid on the surface. If you have surface chemistry, for example, you might want to have access to the tangential derivatives. But yeah, you get the derivative and you can uh, dot multiply them with the unit outward normal. Other questions? Is it clear so far? <laughs> <laughs>